Hey Cancers, I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be for December, all right? So let's put some energy in and see what message we got for my Cancers. All right, so we're gonna start off with, let's start off with um, the message card, Blunt Truth Edition. All right, so let's get what your, what your person wants to say to you. message for cancer please and a message for cancer a message that you have for cancer my head isn't clear enough to make a decision all right your person could be saying look don't push me i need to make my own choices I'm getting like your person feels extremely insecure. Okay, so this person definitely is giving me insecure energy. They're avoiding the connection right now. They're avoiding this connection because their head isn't clear enough to make a decision. And they're super duper insecure right now. They're just insecure. They are ignoring other people. They just aren't there like they aren't their mind is just not clear enough okay to make some type of decision okay so let's see what else is going on oh yeah these these jump right out we got it's time for me to heal now so they need some type of balance. They're trying to find some type of balance in their life. And then we got, I hope that you can forgive me one day. I ain't even get a chance to pull. They just jump right out. I know that I crossed the line with you. So they know that they've crossed some type of boundary with you. That energy has been coming out a lot lately. Past couple of readings. That energy has been coming out a lot. Give me a second, y'all. Let me make sure there's nobody at my door. Okay. So, let's jump right into it. Give me additional messages about cancer and their person here what's going on how does cancer person feel about the cancer show me show me what's going on with cancer going into january what message is there for cancer all right so we got the hermit so, like I said, your person is, they're keeping their distance. Um, maybe they feel like you are moving on or they're trying to move on from you. Or they're trying to figure out how to move on. There could be a Leo that could be in the situation. It looks like there could have possibly been like a breakup possibly with um, a Leo. Maybe this person thought you and this Leo broke up. Yeah, but it's like now all of a sudden there's still hope for the situation. Maybe this person came back into your life um, and this, this left the person disappointed. They're disappointed. Maybe they're disappointed because someone came back into your life, okay? Yep, they're jealous. They are jealous. Because they feel like they have a lot of fun with you, okay? Like, when you two get together, it's a good time. So, maybe they feel like they're losing. They're going to miss out on something. <laughs> maybe they feel like they're going to miss out on something. Yep, the lovers. Tell me more. Could be a Virgo or a Gemini that you're dealing with. 
Yep. Ten of Swords, they feel betrayed. They feel betrayed. Yeah, like. They're surprised by some information that they got. Or what your future plans is. Someone's asking someone, can they move in? Maybe they were like, I was going to ask you to marry me. I was going to ask you to move in with me. I was going to ask you to take it to the next level with me. Sagittarius and Cancer energy could be. But they were feeling like you and them were going to the next level. They had a lot of hope. Okay, could be an Aquarius. But they don't feel like... They don't feel... This person is so nervous. Like, they're nervous. That's why they can't think straight. They're nervous. <laughs> they are nervous. And to be honest, they could be trying to slow things down. They're trying to slow things down to clear up their mind. Um, you know, to communicate with you. They want to know if you're really, like, serious. Wow. Nine of Wands. Now their guard is up. Their guard is up. Yep. They feel like it's too much back and forth. Things are just going wild. Like their mind is just like. Ch -ch 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 All type of things are going through their head. Like a lot of things are going through their head. So in the in the past, this person could have uh, uh, recent past, this person could even blocked you. Okay. This person could feel like, it don't seem like you love me. You're not showing me that you love me. You're not acting like you love me. Oof, now that one, like, fell out. This is the Ten of Wands. But well, I'm not going to take it. They feel burdened, though. <laughs> they feel overwhelmed. All right, so, yeah, there's an ending, Okay. So there's the closing of a chapter. This chapter could be coming to a close. I'm seeing uh, they could be praying that you find your way back to them. Reach out. They want to hear from you. This person could be trying to come back. They could be coming back for sex. Okay, but I feel like this person is upset. They decided to slow things down. Maybe they did this to try to get your attention. I mean, we got you guys' energy here. Queen of Cups, Three of Cups. It's like... It's like... You're having fun with this situation. Like, you could be, like, not even looking at it like it's that serious, okay? Because it looks like somebody got low self-esteem in this, in this connection. So, it looks like the person that you're dealing with, self-esteem could be, you know, they're not that confident right now. They're not confident. They're not confident. This could be your energy or their energy. Take it as it resonates. But I'm reading it as your partner's energy. They're uncertain if you guys should try this again. They feel like there's secrets. Somebody has a secret from their past. I'm getting a Leo. Yeah, somebody could be married to a Leo. We got Strength, Hierophant, and the Four of Wands. Someone could, like, be married. They kept it a secret. And your person is like, well, how am, <laughs> how is, you know, how is that going to work? The outcome here. We got them being overwhelmed, so 
your person is like overwhelmed. They could be feeling like they're kind of done with the situation. I see somebody here could be a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody here having regrets. Okay, somebody has regrets. Um, yeah, somebody's thinking about the sex here. Somebody's thinking about some sex here. So your person feels like, I feel like your person sh is shutting down. They're shutting down. I see a lot of endings here, like Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, the world. I'm getting like your person is shutting down. It's because they're having a major um, overload, like with their mental. This person could have, a, you know, a lot of anxiety. They worry a lot. And I also see, like, they could be feeling like, you know what, I'm done talking about this. I'm just going to move on. But I do see a chapter has ended, has closed, okay? I see them, it looks like they're trying to put their um, their headspace on their finances. Somebody's jealous of somebody, of a fire sign. Um because their ability to manifest money. See, like, this person just feels like it's not so much of a risk if they don't show you any attention. It's like, some they feel like something is a risk. And they feel like it's a risk. So they, they purposely are trying not to show you any attention. Maybe to see how you will respond. Yeah, like, they, they're over here feeling sad and heartbroken and lonely. I feel like they feel lonely. They feel lonely at times. I feel like they think about you a lot. Especially sexually. This person is really, like, has this kind of, like, codependency or they're really, like, addicted to you. Yeah, see, the problem is this person feels like they can come back and forth in and out of your in and out of your life. Okay, this person feels like they got it like that. Okay, like they can keep coming back and forth. If you allow it, then they're gonna do it. I'm I'm definitely seeing like this person could have blocked you. I definitely see like this person could have blocked you or you blocked them because they're trying to keep control. Maybe they're around a bunch of friends because I'm seeing the emperor and the three of cups. They could be around a bunch of different men or I'm just getting that. Like they could have possibly blocked you so they can focus on what it is that they're trying to focus on. Okay. So let's look up there. Let's let's go a step deeper and let's get some more energy. Put some more energy. What's the person's intentions towards cancer? They're not, I'm telling you, this person's an enemy. This person not really on your side. This person is an enemy. They're an enemy. They be talking like, oh, they love you so much. They want to take things to the next level. They might call you and tell you that they love you, that they like you, they want to be with you, and then they ghost you. They separate from you. Like, this person is an enemy. We got to stab in the back. Don't trust this person. Do not trust this person. They're here to bring heartbreak, pain. They're going to separate. They may deceive you. Or they're just going to come out the woodworks with something. And it's going to be like a tower moment. Like, mm -mm. don't trust this person. I don't like the energy. 
This person cannot be trusted. And I feel like they feel like you stabbed them in the back, so they're coming with retaliation. They're trying to find a reason or a way to make you feel some type of way. Yeah, it's like, I told you, we got clock, okay? So, needs time. They need, they feel like they need some time. So, they're running. They're running. They're running. They're running away from you. They need some time. Whatever they're trying to do, they need some time for what? What do they need time for? I want to clarify that because I'm curious. I want to know. Um, we got twin flame. Abundance. Mm -mm. This ain't no twin. This is a karmic relationship. That's what this is. This is what this look like. This is like a karmic. This person is portraying to be your twin flame. They're portraying. I feel like for some of you, this person is portraying to be your twin flame. But this, this shit really is a karmic. This person really is a karmic. And they're addicted to you. They're addicted to you. They're just playing the card. The hand that was dealt to them. I told you, the snake. I told you, the snake. They get close enough to you so they can bite you. They get close enough to you, kiss you, and tell you how much they want to take things to the next level. This is that. But this person all about themselves, okay? This person all about themselves. Keep that in mind. This person is a snake. I'm telling you, it's a snake. Yeah, the sex is seem like it's good. We got passion here. That could be what is keeping y'all connected. Yeah, this person's gonna try to come around and heal, heal your heart with sex. They're gonna use sex. But watch out. See, they're gonna come around. Oh, I like you. They may want to take it on be more on a friend level, but watch out, because this person got a hammer. They come in to sabotage. They come to sabotage, sabotage, rebuild, and interrogate. They come to interrogate you. They repetitive with it too. They persistent about it. They gonna work on it. Like they'll build, they'll tear you down and try to build you back up. Okay, girl with the snake. See, you could be an empath. You could be very much so like easier to get along with. Um, you just easy going. This type of person love to prey on this type of, of person, okay? This is empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. Spirit is saying you need to have some boundaries when you're dealing with this person. If you don't, this person ain't going to come. They come like the Grim Reaper, okay? I'm telling you, this is the betrayal card. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And I feel like this person does that and then they don't they you don't hear from them. They don't communicate with you. I'm telling you. This person probably does this to everybody that they deal with. They run. They're a runner. They're a runner, they a track star. They gonna run away when it gets hard. All right, so that's the message that I got for cancers. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below and I'll chat with y'all later.